What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another two minute tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're going over this mirror displacement effect inside of After Effects, super simple, but super useful. And before we get started, feel free to download the project file down in the description, just for you. So inside of After Effects, we have a 1920 by 1080 p composition, 60 frames per second, 20 seconds long, super easy. And then we'll write out any old text, just like so, center it up just so we feel better, maybe scale it up a little bit. Then we'll right click, create a new solid, choose any color, it doesn't matter. Go to your effects and presets and type in cell pattern. Drop that on the red solid or blue solid or whatever. Change this to plate text Q and take this number right here for the contextual slider up to around 10,000. Then you can take the size of the tiles and make them about 500. And one last thing is we can take the um, evolution in this and click alt or option on your keyboard and click the evolution. Then it opens up this box you can type a script into, hit time times 50. Next, we're gonna go to our effects and presets again and type displacement map. Drag this onto your text, assign it to the red solid, change the source to effects and masks, and then turn the red solid off. It gives you that nice mirror effect. Now you can change the actual size of this to let's say 10, and then, I don't know, 10, and it shows that this is a little bigger. Maybe if we scale the text up, we can see that this has actually been changed. There's like the mirror looking stuff. And then to add a little flair to the text, we'll type gradient ramp inside of our effects and presets, drag that onto the text, change the start color to white, change the next color to like a gold yellow looking thing, a little bit orange, something like that. Pull this anchor point down to make the white here, pull this up to put the gold there. And finally, we can start scaling our text up. So let's take our anchor point tool right here, click and hold it, click control on your keyboard, and it pings it to the middle if you hover it on the middle. And then we hit S on our keyboard, keyframe to scale, go down our timeline about six seconds, and we'll increase the scale by a bit so that our text is actually getting larger on screen. So there you have it, you have an automatic glassy text looking effect. It's kind of easy. There's a lot more you can do with this, but inside of two minutes, that's all I got for today. So as always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.